So, um, I'm just making a video. I'm probably going to get some hate on this one because, um, my decision has changed. I know a lot of you guys were like, oh, you're doing it, you're making a great choice and all that. Well, my choice has kind of changed though. Um, originally in my controversial parenting tag, I said how I was not getting my son circumcised. Well, <laughs> I am actually going to get him circumcised. My husband told me he was not circumcised and his mother never really told him. But he actually was circumcised and she thought she told him a bajillion times and he just didn't listen or he wasn't paying attention. But he never knew he was circumcised this whole entire time. And I had only been with, or I've only like seen two guys. And I thought they were both uncircumcised. So when I found out he was circumcised, I googled it and I saw what an uncircumcised guy looks like. And I was like, okay, ah, uh, that doesn't look natural to me. But, it, you know, it is natural. And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, um, sure, I would probably still stick with my decision to not get him circumcised. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, it's cleaner and all that. But it's, it does have a lot of nerves in it. I know a lot of guys were saying, oh, just leave it the way it is. It's got. It's there for a reason. Well, it just now that I've seen it, I'm just like, oh, not for me. So I'm probably gonna get hate for that. At the same time, it's, you know, it's my motherly decision, and I feel that he should be circumcised now. And now that my husband found out he was circumcised, he was like, holy crap, my son's getting circumcised. I do not want his Peter looking like that. <laughs> so, yeah. That is what I have made my choice now, so I just thought I'd get get that out there in case, like, some of you guys, like, I don't know, some of you creepers just follow me and just were like, wait a second, I thought you were getting him, or you weren't getting him circumcised, and then finds out, like, you, he is. So, yeah, um, that's mostly what I wanted to just say, and I'm sorry if you don't agree with my decision, there's a lot of people out there who don't agree with it at all and I would like for it to be his choice but as of right now no there are actually there are actually things out there that can help him get his foreskin back I mean you can never really get it back but yeah there is actually devices out there that are for people who are circumcised and they can go online and order it if they want their to be uncircumcised again they kind of can they it takes a long time and it's a process but if he really wants it then <clears throat> yeah he can do that too I mean I did think a lot about it and I was like you know what he needs to be circumcised because I just think it, it looks better and all that and and I thought what I thought was a natural uncircumcised penis is actually an unnatural circumcision actually we should, we should what I thought was circumcised, or was uncircumcised, it's actually circumcised. So therefore, the uncircumcised looks weird to me because I thought that was... I didn't even know that. that never mind. You guys can still voice your opinions on this video. And I still will, like, read them and all. I mean, if they're negative, I mean, that's fine too. Because, I mean, people are going to always have different opinions on stuff. And, you know, if you're one of those people that are just really against circumcising your child, then, you know, that's good for you. I mean, every parent has that decision until it becomes, like, illegal, which I highly doubt. Um, yes, there is no medical gain from it, except for the fact that it helps prevent bacteria from getting in there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just my choice. Um, so I hope you guys have a good day, and if you are supportive of my decision, you know, you can say that too. Um, but, um, yeah, thank you guys if you are supportive. If you are not supportive, that's okay too. I mean, I'm not supportive of stuff I watch on YouTube either. I mean, so. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, and thank you for following me, and I will keep posting more videos up soon. Feel free to subscribe. Right here. Right here.
can't remember which side it's on on my camera. Um, I think it's right there. But, um, um, also, I keep forgetting to add this at the end of my videos. Uh, I have made a Facebook page. If you want to go and like that fan page, I do not. I do not add people on my personal Facebook page. Um, that's just something I do. Um, people I even go to school with, I won't add them unless I know them, like personally. At least I know who they are. So I don't just add anybody on my personal Facebook. So don't try and get on my personal Facebook and send me a friend request because I will not accept it. I will message you saying, "Hey, go to my fan page because I post all." That was weird. I almost had like a sneeze cough. No, sneeze, sneeze, I'm sure. Anyway, just uh, like my fan page. I think I have my personal set up to where you can subscribe to it too, if you want to do that too. Um, I'm still working with the fan page. I've never made one before. I don't really know, you know, what to put. I don't. I will just basically try and keep up to date daily stuff. I try and post something on there every day so you guys can keep up for you who follow. It doesn't have that many likes right now because I just don't think I've been really getting it out there. If you want to follow me, then like that page. Um, but yeah, just read descriptions. Like, you should open them because they usually have stuff instead of just what's in the video. So, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.